Hello, beautiful people. Thank you for clicking on this video. I am about to share my locks journey with you guys from day one all the way to six months. I did include the date and how many months or weeks involved. I went thorough with it, guys. I went thorough. In this pic right here, this was my last time washing my hair as a loose natural before starting my locks journey and in this pic i also put a little color in my hair nothing too crazy just something to give it a little boost quick backstory i've been natural for many years and in the past i've worn wigs and braids if you care to see how i wore my hair or how i look before i started my locks journey feel free to go to my IG page. This was the length of my hair prior to doing a big chop in late 2021. And this was my hair after the big chop. So it was almost like I was transitioning into something, into the natural hair journey, but I wasn't sure of which direction I wanted to go. At this point, I wasn't even thinking about locks. I just knew I just never wanted to wear any kind of fake hair again. My mom started my locks journey on November 11th, 2022. When she first started my hair, my locks, I started off with three strands, right? So it was braided. Here is the finished result. And I was like, okay, it was cute. It was different. It was very different because I haven't even braided my natural hair and just walk around with that, you know? So I went and, you know, put something cute on and took some photos and I'm like, oh my gosh, I feel so beautiful. I feel so pure, you know, like, wow, like, like people can actually see me now. And that felt good that I felt liberated. I felt free within that. I started my locks journey on a Friday, so I had the weekend to myself, and then here comes Monday, the time for me to go back to the office, and I was kind of nervous in a sense because I've never worn my hair at my job, right? So it was like I came in the Friday with a wig on my head and then came in the Monday with my natural hair braided. That was a huge switch so up. it was very it was kind of different but I felt but I was confident with it though I was confident but yes it did feel different so seven days into me having those starter locks I was like no I don't want my hair to be braided anymore I want it to be twisted so I took down my hair down to I guess the part before it completely unravels because my mom did do the inner lock in the root of my hair so that it wouldn't come loose because of the texture. So I just stopped right there where the inner locks were and just twist from that part downward. So I never took down my entire hair. I never did that. I kept the same everything, but just took them down 98% and then continue to twist downwards. And this is how my hair turned out. So the day that I went from three strands to two strands was the seventh day. I wanted my twists to look a little crinkly. So what I did was braided them afterwards. And then this was the day, the next day. And I took them down and I was like, hmm, these are nice. And this was the same day in the night. I was like, let me put something cute on, put some makeup on and, you know, feel myself. Because bear in mind, I'm, I'm trying to get a, a, a feel for this new hairstyle, right? Nonetheless, there was no going back to a wig. I was not going to put a wig on my head to cover up my natural hair because this was also a transition of the mind as well in how I view myself when I look in the mirror, right? Because it's a completely different thing when you wear fake hair and when you wear your natural hair. So I was doing a cleanse in a sense, right? So I was never going to do that. I know a lot of people do wear wigs during this time frame. If that's what you do, that's fine. I don't knock it. But for me, 
it was deeper than that. I did my first wash and retwist on day 12 and I continued to do that until I was three months in. I did do my retwist by myself. Um, I've actually never had anyone given me a retwist as of yet. Um, I did not use a dryer in my hair. I just let them air dry, put the clips in, and by one hour, it was dried. And here is day 13. This is the next day. And I was just like, oh my gosh, like I am loving this hairstyle. And then there was the fuzz that came in and said, how do you like me now? Like my gosh. This fuss thing is serious. I, I knew it was coming because, of course, I did my research. I watched plenty of YouTube videos. I knew it was coming, but I, I was, whew. So now I had to find other ways how to do my hair to hide the fuzz. And this is why I continue to wash and retwist my hair every 12 days so that my hair does not look messy for a long period of time. And I work in a professional environment, so I had to make sure that I was like really keeping my hair as neat as I can. And I did that. I continued to love on my hair. I continued to get comfortable with who I was seeing in the mirror. And I just fell in love with myself. I did. It was like it was like finding yourself again. <laughs> Compliments were coming in left, right and center. It was like, what is going on? I did a lot of lock maintenance on my hair because my hair needed that from doing the inner locking every now and then to trimming my hair. Like I've done it all. People started asking, hey, you have locks? People started to take notice of my hair. And also, as you can see, I was having fun in my pictures. I was having fun in my videos. I was just like a brand new person, like I literally found myself again. In my second month, every single lock had button, a lot of button in there, which was very surprising because I wasn't expecting my hair to start budding that quickly and for all of them to be dramatically button. So here I am at another um, wash, just finished washing my hair. It wasn't until watching this video that I realized that my hair was not getting washed properly because I had buildup. So I had to do a lot more washing in order to get that out. When I say a lot more washing, I'm talking about individually going through each lock from top to bottom to remove a lot of that buildup. My baby wanted to start her own locks journey as well. And here she is joining me in this video. She is in her third week and I am at three months and seven days and time was just going. Next thing I knew, I was four months with on my locks journey and the time just literally just flew by it seemed. At first it started off very slowly and then out of nowhere, I couldn't even keep up with making these videos on time. So I went and put a little color in my hair again to kinda bump it up, but not too dramatic. Within the six months of me having locks, the longest I've ever went without washing my hair is 33 days. And here comes the actual sixth month of my lock journey. When I tell you I thought I couldn't love my hair anymore. I was absolutely wrong. Absolutely wrong. I do appreciate you guys for watching this video. Thank you so much. Please like and subscribe to support this channel. Thank you so much.